This conference yes, will now be recorded. Audio is not good. Sorry, can I help there? Uh, do anybody facing any problem? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, participants, please uh, keep your webcam yeah. off. Maybe on this uh, software. Okay, thanks, Ranjan. Thanks for confirming. Yeah, see what happened is GoToMeeting is a software probably some of you are using for the first time. So there is a place where you can keep it mute. There is a place where you can hide your camera. I know I like to see you. You look beautiful, but not now because it may confuse people around, right? So put yourself in mute and camera off mode for 45 minutes to one hour right please do that uh, i know we'll start in two minutes i'm just setting the ground for you now uh, we are expecting more people to join and uh, we had a good overwhelming i um, mean response from the people that's the reason we have to pre on the program a little more so i can give you 30 minutes of time where you can ask all your questions Right, so this PMP is one of the most crucial and very highly reputed certificate in the world. And many have a lot of questions not resolved. So thought of having a free session where I can share my knowledge. I know some of you follow me within LinkedIn and thanks a lot for that, following me with that. And thanks for viewing the uh, success records consistently. And uh, every other day we have one person clearing PMP from our group. So very proud to say that. And I give all the dedication to this team, which does all this job behind us. Saying that, let me quickly check out all factors how are good. And uh, I want to say hello to all. And we have a big list here. So I have Karthik, I have Aditya, Aditya, Agarwal, Atul, Bharat, Chandan, Chetan, Dibiriti, Dinesh, Dipin, Hemal, Herbert, Jane. Jay Prakash, Jay Prakash Jain, can you please go your camera mute, please? Uh, Karthik and uh, Lakshman, Mittal, Neil, Parikh, uh, Poonam, Prabhu, Pradeep, Prashant, Ramiz, Rajan, Rohan, Sabri Krish, Sandeep, um, Sangamant, Satish, Shamim, Shilpa, Shujra, Suresh, Tiru, Uma, Vijay, Vivek Roy. Okay, hey, maybe I missed some of your names, don't feel bad about it. Uh, but I was just quickly going through the names to see and say hi to everyone. I know some of you are from different part of the world. Thanks for joining again. And uh, you all would be uh, having your lunch or some of you in the early morning hours. Thanks for that. Okay, so what we do is uh, I have some um, key points to share with you all. How it's going to be. The key points for the PMP success. Before we even go there, I will just set the ground here. Uh, this program is going to happen for nearly one hour. So I have uh, certain basic things for this program. So key questions which is happening in the market that I have put through. And these questions, I'm going to go one by one and explain you. I will take 45 minutes of my time to explain all these concepts. These concepts goes to anybody who is looking for project management certification and any of you looking out for BMP professional certification, right? Now, this concepts and questions will be explained elaborately. And again, PMP is a very broad subject, which can't be done everything in one hour. But again, I will stop in some place. I'll allow you to ask questions. And you can throw the questions on me. I will try to answer as much as I can. If it really goes above my head, yes, I will note it down and come back to you. Because I have uh, a lot of um, connections through PMI group, I can get the answers for you as well. So that's one thing. And again, um, this class or this session is applicable for anyone who is in the corporate life. You could be of uh, six months experience. You could be of 32 years experience. Uh, my experience is I have taken class for a person who has around 34 years of experience. He's of my father age, came for the class. So I felt so amazing taking classes for them as they come with a amount of experience, which is so good to hear. And that's real experience, right? So with a first delay, we will get inside. One second, I welcome everyone to Sri Learning. Let me quickly see the number of people joined in. Jain Shweta, can you please put your cam off mode if you don't mind? Okay. And I assume everybody is able to hear me. And uh, if you want to communicate to me, you can just type the message here. 
right so that i can see the message and come back for now what we do is just stay in listen more listen more for next 45 minutes after which you are free to throw a lot of questions saying that we'll get inside okay a uh, little about me so myself Sri Ram Kumar, I'm the head coach with uh, Sri Learning and uh, I have few quali degree qualification with me. Like uh, you can see I have uh, masters in computers, masters in business administration, and I did masters in psychology, which is really helping me a lot, right? And I did certifications in PMP, PMI, ACP, Scaled Agile Framework, if you are aware of the Scaled Agile, and something on CSR, DevOps, these are some areas. So I love sharing knowledge with the people which I practice on my day-to-day -day life. So I serve a lot of projects in India, US, Canada. So these are places I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kindly get into mute mode, people who are not uh, speaking up. Now, uh, team, can you please put other people mm -hmm. in mute mode? Uma Shankar, please mute mode. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks, Tim, for helping out. I know this is the first time, right? So there are the chances people get into unmute mode. Okay, uh, before I get furthermore, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to talk about PMP certification. I'm going to give some tips of how to get into PMP exam faster and with a higher grade. Before that, there are some people who may not know what is PMP, uh, may not know what is project management all about. I want to give you at least five and 10 minutes of what is this all about project management. And from there, I want to take you to the examination part. So what I do is I'll show some information. These are the four top things which I thought which will be helpful for you. Uh, check out if some of your questions getting covered under this umbrella. When should start reading for the examination? What to read? How to prepare for the examination? How to write? That's a really crucial one. How to write is an area many people struggle a lot. When I say how to write, how to look out the exam question. Because it's going to be 200 questions and four hours of examination. How you should look at the question in a scenario based uh, questions, right? That's what you're going to see. Then what I did is I took the top uh, four areas and subdivided it. And I found that the six sections can almost cover those top areas. In fact, some of your questions will fall under this category. Just look at the categories here. So I have a category of what is the benefit of PMP as some of you from different domain here. You may be from different country. Yep, there is a there is a ask. Hey, can I do PMP? Is it going to be valuable for me? Are you now, are you sharing your screen, uh, Sridham? Oh, yeah, it's going on. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not able to view it. It says video paused. Okay, just a minute, hold on. I will check out. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. That's Shriram, okay, no problem. Shriram, it's visible for us. So maybe the issue is with the. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hey, so I'm getting. For... Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, getting the message. But again, I think it's maybe a problem from your side. Can you please check it out if you don't mind? Yeah. And also, please get to mute mode if you're not speaking up. I know you know what we our internet bandwidth is sometimes crazy, uh, which doesn't allow you to listen to um, the good uh, I mean video transactions. Okay, good. Uh, let's get back and thanks for confirming things are good idea sign. Okay, we'll go back. So what I did is I thought of putting into six segments. Uh, what is the market demand? So there is a topic always comes out. Hey, I know when PMP is good and uh, um, now PMP is really demanded in the market. Can I spend money and time on that? I mean, it is going to be useful. This question always comes. And always someone says that I'm going to PMP. There is one guy to tell that, hey, PMP is outdated, man. Please don't try it. Right. This I hear consistently. So we'll, we'll go to that question as well. And I want to talk about what is the preparation time it is needed. How much of time needed to go for um, the examination? And this is a very crucial question. Many, many have this question. Because this differs if you are a three years experienced person, if you're a three years experience person or you're a 20 years experience person, it will differ. So we will see this part. What is the preparation time needed for the examination? Then definitely we'll talk about who can do PMP and which book to read. And I'm always hearing that some people say, hey, I read the book three times. I read the book four times, right? So we understand that and some more exam related topics. 
I believe this will touch most of your questions. If it is not, we will have a 30 minute session allocated. We will address all the questions. I believe we set with the agenda. We will move on. Okay, before I go to explain what is PMP, first I'll talk what is project so that you'll understand the importance of PMP. Now, where the project sits in organization? An organization, as you see the picture here, an organization is something which has a structure in place, which has some hierarchy in place. Every organization has a top strategies. If you go for um, say Reliance Group, if you go for uh, Tata Group, if you go for Google, everybody will have every year some five top strategies. Now, these top strategies should be implemented. It could be anything. Amazon will talk about cloud computing, or Google may talk about automated cars, or Uber may talk about increasing the footprint into different countries. Now, that should flow through organization, and the organization will have a portfolio segment. When I say portfolio, the different levels of segments, like a Tata has a Tata Motors as a portfolio, um, Tata Tanish or kind of a gold segment as a portfolio, TCS can be a portfolio. Now, this portfolio is further subdivided into and it goes down and there the project exists. Now, I'll tell you the importance of project. A project in an organization is the heartbeat. If this heartbeat doesn't function properly, whatever your strategy is set at the top level, or whatever the organization money pumped in doesn't come out or there won't be a return on investment. If an organization has to move forward in the growth, in the revenue, in the goodwill, in the market, definitely there should be some project keep happening. Even if you go for a World Health Organization, they may have a project telling that eradicating polio all over the world. That is a project which they have to implement all over the world, right? So project is something the heartbeat of any organization or it could be heartbeat of any country. Even a country has every country has a project to happen. Now why put in this importance here is why project management is always in demand. Why managers are highly, highly needed is because whatever the country structure may be, whatever the organization structure may be, projects are the heartbeat. You can name it in a different form. You can name it as ROI, you can name it as a value stream, you can name it as agile, you talk it about sprints, you call it what it is. But end of day, it's all projects which move the company from state one to state two. Now, that is a reason people are moving towards project management learning, right? Well, I'm going to set this a track first so that you know where the project sits in the company. Let me take to the next stage. Right, yeah. So now there is a debate here. They say that, hey, is PMP really valid? Or they take a talk about uh, Agile. You know what, things are happening in Agile way. So we want to do everything quick and faster. So that's that's a reason, that's a big talk in the market. So I want to just give a heads up about uh, what actually project is all about. So to talk about it, I just pulled out some of the images for you to show that. Maybe you can see something called uh, bridge construction. Maybe I'm showing some software applications or mobile applications. Even a birthday party is a project, right? Uh, I know when it should start, when it should end, who all will participate. I won't call it participant, the relatives and friends. And it could be some material like a cake or sweets or a balloon or some fun part going to happen. Now, projects in this world are primarily divided into two segments. One is called predictive nature projects. One is called adaptive nature projects. What is predictive? Predictive is something we are very clear what actually is needed. Whether it may be 100% clear or maybe 80 to 90% clear, right? Sometimes that's how it goes. If you go for a bridge construction like this, most of the time the government is very clear how much of the stretch, maybe five miles or six miles, and what is the length, breadth, width, and capacity, they're very clear on it. That's the reason they go for a plan-driven approach for predictive nature. Predictive is earlier I know that what this actually output is going to be and I can plan accordingly and this nature of project was existing for so many years and sometimes we call it as a waterfall methodology that's what they have to do know their go if it is a bridge construction I should know what is the length of it breadth of it when it should be done what is the budget of it I have to plan for it so predictive nature projects are well planned ahead why because if you make any changes in the middle of the project or the end of the project, it will be very expensive. I cannot change a bridge length when it is halfway done. I should be clear enough enough what I have needed there, right? 
So predictive nature of the project talks about how clear we are on the requirement and that makes us to move forward. Now that's one style of project and you cannot tell that predictive projects are no more needed. If somebody says that waterfall is no more needed, we have to look at them. No, it is needed and depending on the model of the project, right? That's predictive nature. Now current trend in the market, we keep talking a lot, is called adaptive nature. Why adaptive nature is because a customer or some of the products are very much change oriented. It will be changing very frequently. You cannot fix this is how we want. For example, I would expect more features for my WhatsApp application. So I would expect more changes every month or every week, right? So I cannot freeze this is what I want. Or let me take this birthday party. It can be predictive or it can be adaptive. Say I'm conducting a birthday party for my uh, kid. My kid says that, Dad, I want a strawberry cake. Yes, we ordered it a day before or at least three hours before uh, he or she says that, no, I want a black forest cake. Now, I cannot go predictive nature. I have to be adaptive. I have to change things in the last minute also. So nowadays, the customers are more knowledgeable. They, they have more choices to ask questions and uh, give more choices and options. So there are a lot of projects coming in adaptive nature, specifically in the IT industry. Now, why I'm explaining this here? You have to understand that project goes on two segments. One is predictive nature and one is adaptive nature. You cannot tell one is there, one is not there. I will tell both are there in this world. We have to go with both the segment, predictive or adaptive. Or sometimes we do both, including called hybrid model. Now, why I'm explaining here is project management, the PMP certification talks deep inside about this segment. It goes much deep and explains predictive and adaptive. And you should not fight for the methods. Under this, you have all the methods coming up. You can call it as agile methodology. You can call it as iterative, incremental, waterfall. That's all methodologies. What PMP is explaining is it explains the framework. What is it? What is actually project all about? Right? That's how it is. Anyway, I don't want to do go deep inside because PMP is a very big ocean. I'm just trying to give a heads up what it will be there in the project management. Primarily, our goal is to go for the examination points. Right? I'll move on. Okay, primarily uh, in uh, PMP books, you will see this uh, five areas. Uh, these five areas are very common for predictive nature or adaptive nature. Every project will have a start. Every project will have an end. Every project will have a planning. Every project will have an execution and control. Only thing is planning sometimes goes 100%. If it is predictive nature, if it is adaptive nature, you can plan only 30% at the first release. Next release, you will plan another 20%. It will become iterative and incremental. I am sure you all are aware of this. I'm just reiterating it for you, right? So this is one of the area they call as uh, five process groups in project management. In PMP, you will learn this to the depth, right? That will be explained really well. Okay, that's a little about that stuff. I want to move you furthermore because I have a lot of content for you. Okay, now, um, one important thing which I love in PMP is something called PMI talent triangle. Now what I'm going to talk about some of the key things, some of the four top things which helps you to be a PMP. In the top you can see that what is the benefit of PMP. I'm going to talk about a benefit which carries value with you when you clear the examination, which will make you intellectual, which will make you more valuable in organization. Then I will go to the commercial part. Before the commercial, first I'll talk about the value which you're going to take away. First thing, the PMP books or project management books is grouped into three categories. If you want the three things here, they talk about something called uh, talent triangle. Now talent triangle talks three topics. One, they talk about a business strategy. When you learn project management, as a manager, as a leader, you are supposed to learn more about the domain where you are, more about learn what is the strategy happening in the market, more about what the competitor is doing there, right? Now, why I put this point here is there are many managers who come for the interview. When I ask them which domain you're working and I ask a couple of more questions about the domain, they're surprised they're not aware of that. Uh, they, they are totally know what they do in their company. They don't even know what is their competitors doing. What is the depth of knowledge in the domain? They don't know what is their domain going to do after three, four years. They don't have a path to see or forecast things. And you can ask me, Shiram, why should I know that man? I'm a manager, just do my work. But if you think yourself as a manager, it's tough. You should look up yourself as a leader. You should know what will be the next 10 years in your domain. 
imagine you are a, a, a cloud computing person you should know next four years what is happening going to happen in the market if you don't know that that's a bit tough for you you can't make a proactive thought process you cannot think broad you cannot be creative you cannot give any suggestions and opinions so strategic management is very 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 vital when you go for a leadership track I quickly i'll talk about something called technical manage whenever you see a technical you may think that technology don't go with technology technical talks about as a manager what are technical factors like a costing of the project scheduling of the project stakeholder management of the project right procurement third party handling there are a lot more there i'm just giving hint of it how good you are known about the technical factors of handling the project that is very vital for you under this you will get ms project prime hour excel sheet jira board what you call it those are just tools to make it happen above that you should know how a budgeting works for a project if i give ten thousand dollars can you run the project within ten thousand dollars or you'll overshoot on that that is called technical project management we should have knowledge about it right that's very vital in fact i'll tell you the truth in the market you can find people with the business knowledge you can find people with the technical knowledge also but there is one area people struggle struggle a lot that's called leadership path right now leadership path is a very crucial because you should be a good people person you should be a person who are visionary you should be a person who can think something out of the box it doesn't happen like that only when you have a strategy knowledge with you only when you have a technical skills with you only when you have a love and passion towards your domain the leadership starts happening that's where you start seeing sachin or dhoni or any music director like ar rahman coming up they have the business knowledge they have the technical knowledge with them and they start becoming a leader and we start following them saying that amazing music man amazing player dhoni amazing leader a political leader how they get all these three segments anyway why I put this point here is whenever you go for any interview in project management you will get questions around these three segments if you are clear in these three segments you will clear most of the interview either knowingly or unknowingly any interviewer will have a questions on this basis this is derived from pmi called pmi talent triangle they didn't do it just like that they went through around 200 countries number of domains to come out with this kind of concept right this is a very interesting concept anyway this is also being highly explained and your pmp pimbok book is totally based on these three concepts good that's interesting i'm getting excited explaining it okay quickly i'll talk about uh, some more factors the technical factors when you go to project management you go for predictive or adaptive you call it as a scrum you call it as agile kanban xp crystal waterfall wherever you go these six concepts will be there you will talk about requirement of the project scope you will talk about when you want to do it you will talk about how much you're going to spend for it and you'll understand how much of a resource needed a resource can be of a human resource resource can be of a material you talk about the quality factors six sigma or what pattern you're going to follow what are the risks inside the project the six are called as a six constraints six constraints right and out of which center three are very 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 vital they call as a triple constraint this is very famous concept in project management and any project of any model you take it as a birthday party a bridge construction or a mobile app software or it could be a massive dam construction everything will fall into this group it's called six constraints if you are good in this six i will tell you nobody can ever touch it and you will be the master of project management but it's not that easy because if you touch a resource quality will change when you change the scope time will change when you will touch a cost the risk will come up it will keep fluctuating that's the beauty of project management if everything is going to be very systematic you and me is not needed in the job right yeah software can do it a software cannot play here it's a human factor you have to understand how it works you have to know how to make a decision here that's a very key part of benefits of pmp by the way i was setting track for you to show the benefits of pmp i know you all browsed about pmp already before even i say about all this stuff but some people may not browse pmp some basically ask me questions shiram what is this pmp man why i should do that so i just started giving heads up to you okay without delay let me move further more okay now come to the commercial part now commercial part i want to talk about um, what is the benefit of pmp now some of you are uh, worried that will this pmp give me um, a value when you google out or when you go to the any website of pmi and browse anything you will find some list of top certificates in the top certificates you will see pmp as 
the top three or top four. And this is there for more than a decade. In fact, if you browse something on project management, PMP will be the number one certificate. By the way, I'm not doing your marketing for PMP. Even I have CSM with me, I have Prince2 with me, I have Scale Legend Framework with me. But whatever it is, I feel PMP has its own prime, the, the top level cream layer, right? And why I tell the point here is when there is something demand in the market, then only it will be the top lister. Only when it is a top lister, when you complete it, you will have a value which can increase your money value. What do you mean by money value? Slowly I'm coming over this, I, I'll go back. I was showing you the first knowledge, what you gain out of PMP, okay, that's one part. The next part is how can I sell it? What, what, is, what is the value I get in the market? If I go that, the book says that advantage of PMP, they say that 25% of variation in the package, what you're going to get, it's of US market. If you look at here, the median salary of US project professional around ninety thousand dollars where it goes one lakh fifteen thousand dollars what i want to put here is uh there is always demand in the market when i completed the pmp i immediately got some promotion i believe at least i got three to four times a different salary tag rise down and again again key point i keep saying to everyone here is you you should know how to market it it is not only you get the certificate after getting the certificate you should know how to utilize it in the right way Anyway, that, that's a role of a coach like me who will guide you, right? That's a very important point. Good, uh, now let's see something on the market demand. Now, I know that there is a value for the PMP. I know there is uh, money value happening there. Now, what's the demand there? Who sets a demand? When you say who sets a demand, there was a stats happened uh, by Anderson Economic Group, AEG. Some of you know this group. With along BMI, in 2017, they conducted a survey in around 11 top countries. Some of you would be falling under this country, some of you may not. They took around 11 countries, they made an analysis out of all the domain, and they found that around good amount of demand is going to be there. When it's a good amount, you can see that demand there, like 87 point, yeah, 87.7 million individuals working in project management oriented roles. When I say project management oriented roles, it's all managerial and leadership roles. It's not a regular role, what I'm talking here. And the number size is so huge, 87 million is very, very huge, that to one in the 11 countries. And this is going to happen, and if it's not filled up, it's going to be a big loss. The gap is going to be 207 billion, right? That's a big, big stuff. Now, that's a reason many industries are looking out for highly qualified people. That's the reason PMP stands at the top grade. If you go to any company for interview, PMP will become a base standard here on. They will say that, do you have a qualification with you? Or you should have an MBA from the top institute. They look out for that purpose. It's not only the PMP in the world, right? They have a lot of certificates also. But now, when I say project management, there is a high demand like this, which is a stats from PMI website. Actually, I took the stats from PMI website. You can take that from there as well. When I say this demand, I want to show you which industry has a demand. Look at here, uh, the same report says that in 2017 to 2027, there'll be some demand on these industries in US market and other markets as well, and 11, 11 countries, right? I'm sure you will still be falling under one of this category. If not, also there are some categories there, but again, this is a primary category where there is a high demand for project managers or project manager related role. Now, what I want to put here is, I want to tell that you gain knowledge, you gain value, you gain money, you gain always a demand. There is no recession. You complete this, you forget the word recession and start getting job opportunities in any part of the world. Right? That's happening. Good. You know that, Sriram, I know this man. I read everything online. Give me something more. If you say that, let me take you further. Now let's go. Let's go a little more deeper. Now, who can do PMP? Now, there's a question here. Now, you can be of any demand. You can be of any model of project. Don't get worried. You're doing a predictive nature of project, or you may be doing adaptive nature of project, or you may be in uh, you may be a carpenter, you may be a chef, you may be a doctor, you may be an IT person, you may be a civil engineer, you may be working on oil and gas. You can be of any project management. Probably point here is we sometimes think that project management means something you have to take everything on your shoulders and do on your own. It may not be that way. You may be part of the project team playing some crucial roles. It is not by the tag a manager is a designer. 
a person who understands the concepts, a person who can go deep inside and make impact on the organization growth would be considered as a project manager, right? So you may not need a tag to come for this course. This course is meant for anybody looking out for the leadership track, anybody looking for a manager track, anybody has a passion towards making certain things and complete it on time. Anything starts and anything has an end and it has a systematic flow, it's going to be called as project. I was quoting a birthday party as a project. Birthday party has a start time and it has an end time. I know what all going to happen, who to invite, what program to do and proper closure. It's a project, simple, straightforward. And I'll call that as a project. If I do that effectively, I'm a good, good manager there. Right? So eligibility part, PMI website has this information. And to you, I'll tell that you may have a degree with you. No need to worry about four year degree, it's a degree with you. Or you don't have a degree, you're a diploma person, that's okay. You can show some years of experience, which is good for you to go for the examination. And eligibility talks about your knowledge. Eligibility talks about little about uh, learning, which will you do it with a coach like me, that is 35 hours of learning. And again, you have uh, years of experience you have to show. This part is generally taken care of by the institute where you do the course. They know how to um, track this. They know how to help you to fill the application form to take you to the examination, right? That's the first point. So key point I will tell you here is, you may be from any domain, you may be from any level, don't worry about it. Just ask for it. And if you have a passion about management, if you have a passion about leadership, this is a place to join, right? Good. Okay, now only I'm getting to the main area which you are looking into, right? Uh, okay, someone has a question. Uh, I know I said last 30 minutes will be question, but anyway, I'll let you quickly see. Lakshman Rao is asking a question. Sorry for the interruption. One question. In qualification, you have mentioned about working hours. One which country working hour basis it is? Uh, which country working hours basis? Okay, Lakshman Rao, I don't think we have to worry about country here on which country. I don't think you have to worry about which country. It is a total number of hours. It is 4,500 hours, which will be a total three years without overlapping of project, right? If you have done three years of project knowledge, you will get eligibility to go for the examination. You may be working in Ireland, you may be working in Norway, you may work in India. Why I specifically say some countries there is, some of the countries have only six hours of working. Some countries have eight to nine hours like India. So you may not need to worry about it. It's a collectively 4,500 hours. I believe I answered your question. Great, okay, thank you, let me move on. Okay, I know this is a vital area, many of you are waiting, because I know that in this session, some of you have already completed the training. You are preparing for the exam. You may not need to come for the training again, but again, you want to know, man, tell me which book to read, because you would have heard that many say that, man, I have to read four books, uh, or someone says that I have to read the one book five times, right? Um, book six times. So you want to understand what is it? Uh, one more question, I may, may address it. Okay, what if we don't have three years of experience? Sorry to disturb one second, no problem. Uh, you should have three years of experience after your college degree. If you don't have three years of experience, there is one more certificate which is called a CAPM, right? Associate in Project Management. This is for the beginners who get inside. They also read the same book which I'm showing here but your examination will be slightly lightweighted. It won't be that tough like PMP. It will be a little lesser there, right? Uh, it will be 150 questions where you address the examination. That's a will be for the CAPM. So I have taken classes to some of the college students who are doing their master's in business or master's in project management in Australia. They come to India on a vacation. They took classes. They did the CAPM, they cleared the examination. So that's how it is. If you're less than three years, you go for CAPM. You're above three years, you come for PMP. I believe I answered your question, Verma. Let me quickly move on. Okay, right, thank you. So, uh, which book to read? When I say books to read, uh, there are a bunch of books available in the market. Or uh, when I say books available, uh, I primarily take three top books. When I say three top books, the first book I recommend is Pembok because that's a Bible. That's the library book. I'll show the difference between that so that it'll be easy. Uh, Suresh, kindly hold on a minute. I'll complete this book part and come to your question. So now, uh, when you take the uh, books part here, uh, if you see here, there are three books, okay? And this got published in 2017, September. And every three to four years, PMI Institute keep upgrading the book. I will use the word upgrading. I didn't use the word change. 
When you say upgrading, they have a bottom layer of project management as it is for the last uh, five decades. They keep topping up. In the sense, project management has not changed in the last 4,500 years. Egypt Pyramid used the project management style what you are following now. If you are wondering that, I'm learning agile now, don't be wondering now, we are just a dot in this world. There are a lot happened before us. And PMI is there in the industry for the last 50 years and they keep upgrading the content. Now, when you see PIMWOC, PIMWOC, when I say PIMWOC, project management body of knowledge, they have a book which is a library book. People keep in a library, they refer it whenever they get a doubt on that. It is not an exam book. I'll repeat again, it's not an exam book, it's a library book to learn what actually is there in project management. So, but that's a good book to learn because it talks in depth inside the content. It will be around 700 pages you will read for the examination. I know some of your eyebrows are going high. 700 pages, do I? Yes, it's possible to read. In a way we teach, we explain you, it'll be good to read, right? It's all story concept. Now, okay, PIMBOK is a good. Some people love to read this kind of book, yeah, but again, it is slightly sleepy mode. If you open the book, you'll sleep. Uh, when I started reading with the PIMBOK, always I'll be in the sofa, the book will be on my face. I'll be sleeping like that, right? Uh, I, I feel it's a little uh, tough for the people who are not a good book readers like me. Years back, now I started reading more books. Now, I recommend a book which is so good for the people who are a very beginner level of project management. You are very new to project management, but you feel that, man, I don't like reading books like this. Show me some book very interesting. If you like that book, there is a book called Head First PMP. People from IT industry know that Head First is a concept. How they write is, they write the book in a pictorial representation. Some of you are so good in reading pictorial representation. You see a picture, you quickly get it. If you give a text, you'll feel, oof, man, it's boring. Look at any newspaper these days, more than the text, you'll see more pictures now. Do you notice it? That to Friday magazines are coming like pictures like anything, because your eyes will first go to the picture. Your picture speaks thousand words, correct? So if that's the case, if you are a picture oriented person, head first PMP is a very layman level language, which has a picture representation, you love to read it. I started reading book in that, okay? That's first level stage. Okay, that's one stage. Now, if you are a person who are more focused on exam and you want to clear the exam as early as possible, your target is straight to that, then go for the book called Rita Mulkai. It's a very fantastic book made specifically for the exam. Now, you can ask me, you know, what is this meant? Three or four books are there. What I'll tell you is all these books are derivation from Pimbak. This is a Rita book derived from Pimbak. Head first derived from PIMBOK, even I have a material which is derived from PIMBOK. So it's a Bible. We have to go to the book and understand it and from there they derive it, right? That's how it works. Maybe, uh, I think a couple of questions coming up before I move and address a question. Suresh is asking something. I have two years experience in entry level job in uh, analyst. I don't have experience in leading a project or a project management team. Question is whether my two years experience valid for PMP eligibility. Suresh, um, if you have two years of experience, uh, it may not be good for you to go for PMP because it's not only for the exam, I'll tell you the toughness will be a little tough. I, I won't say toughness, I'll just stand will be a little high. So I would recommend for the people less than three years go for CAPM certification. But you will learn the same subject with the PMP guys. In a classroom, if you take 30 people, five people will be of CAPM certified. So they'll also sit there. You learn the same subject, but exam will be less intensive for you, right? That's what the CAPM certificate. To answer your question, Suresh, you may not able to go for PMP, but you can go for CAPM. I believe I answered your question. Okay, Patrick says, sometimes it's cold book. Okay, got it. Please tell more on how to keep PMP knowledge, understand, remember. Okay, that's good. I'm coming there, I'm coming there. Hold on, we'll go there. Okay, let's move a little more. Uh, what I say is this uh, PIMPOC is the uh, master of all, master of a library book. So we, what I did is I took all these three books and derived this as she learning books. And what I did is also I put some 21 days of study plan, how to go through this material. Just reading this material, I've seen many people clearing the examination, it happens. But at the same time, if you really want to digest the content, you really want to be the great winner of project manager for next 25 years, I would recommend you to read PIMBOK once because that's a good book, has a lot of knowledge in that. So I'll quickly reiterate here, you, you can start reading with the PIMBA, but it is directly a library book. 
But if you are a person of picture oriented and a very beginner of the project management, you need to head first PMP. But again, if you are a person who are directly towards the examination, go for read number guy. Read one book enough. Don't read multiple books. And hearing that I read all three books three times, four times, no. For example, if I listen to some movie song, if I listen to some music song, a movie song five years back, if I love, love that particular song, I can remember the lyrics for next 20 years. If I just hear the hum, I'll start telling the lyrics of that song. It is something I have a passion toward that song. I love it, so I remember it. If you love the subject of project management and leadership, if you read it once, it will stay with you. That's, that's my theory. If not, even if you read four books five times, nothing will stay with you, right? That's a point which I get. Anyway, but again, if somebody not good on reading one time, yes, you have to go to a second time. Quickly, I'll see something. Please tell me more on how to be. Okay, I'll come there. Patrick Suresh, please park. Give you after session. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, guys, we'll park the question. Uh, I, I'm going to start by six o'clock and give you so that please hold it. Maybe six ten, I'll give you. So we'll go for the questions. Sunny is asking, so if we study Pimbok, is it enough to clear the exam and understand the concept? Oh, okay, yes, Sunny. If you read Pimbok, you are the guru of uh, project management. That's great. Do you think uh, every time they update the content, make the exam more tough? Why I'm asking this is we expect the same change in April 2020. No, uh, Shiva, it's something like uh, 2021, we are going to get a new book, not April 2020. We are going to get 2021. And don't think that it's getting tougher. It is getting more knowledgeable. It's getting more current to the market trend. That's how I see, right? It's good, actually. I, I, I always use the word love what you do. Then you won't feel the toughness. You'll enjoy it, right? If you go and ask Sachin, hey, did you play 18 hours in the ground, man? Do you feel tired? You'll tell, man, I love it, man. It, it's going on me. That's how I feel. Anyhow, that's the uh, that's an ingredient which I give in my class. Start loving the subject, right? How to love it? See that as a story form. You love it. So in the classes, I give story form to these guys and all love. Wow, that looks good, right? Anyway, anyway, I'll park the questions for you guys. We'll go to the last. Now let's move quickly. I know time is so crucial, man. Running fast with you all. I'll move on. Okay. Uh, yeah, here I have a question. Okay, if somebody has a thought in your mind, hey, you keep giving more hype to the PMP, man. Tell me what does PMP question look like? I given a very simple layman level question here. Just read this question. Try if you can give me answers for this. Put your answers in the chat. Let's see. Okay, answers are coming up. Okay, uh, I would wish everybody uh, try to give an answer. Read the question properly. Okay, sounds interesting. Great, guys. Good, 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 good. C, D, all of them. <laughs> Prashant, you want to go all of them, but in PMP, they'll give one, one mark for one question. Don't expect four marks. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Karthik says yes, Neil says C, Sharad says D, okay, Rao says D. Good, 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 good. Lot of correct answers, man. Wow, wow. Hey, you guys are ready for the PMP exam. Okay. Personal, okay, D. Good, good, good. Good, I like it. I like it. This thing is really good. I know some people are putting with uh, other answers also. I'll give you justification. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, Sri Lakshmi, that's good. Thanks, YG. Uh, Lakshman Rao, great, great. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate all your answers. Thanks, oh, thanks. Oh. I like the response. Okay, I'll quickly go on this point. Now, uh, look at this question. It's a very basic question. I don't have any domain uh, to be specified. This is a problem happens in any kind of project, right? So uh, you cannot tell that it's for IT, non-IT, it's my son birthday party. No, it happens. You receive a notification. It means you receive means current. In a question, you have to see tense. Tense means past tense, present tense, or where we are. I talk about current, okay? Okay, sorry for my bad handwriting. Now, uh, now what happened is this is current. Currently, something is happening. Major item failing. So, if this is not item is not there, your project will not move forward. So, one is current. There is a big trouble, and uh, will be delayed. What is the best thing to do? There are a lot of answers. All the four answers are correct. Uh, now, what is the best answer out of it? Right. That's how it's going to be. Hey, I'm hearing uh, some people saying not able to hear me. All good. Uh, do anybody have a hearing problem or can I move on? Uh, 
do anybody facing my video audio not good move on okay thanks Jit. okay let me move on so now uh, if you look at this question uh, it says uh, delayed and the best thing is asking for let me go one by one they're talking about pre-plan your project to accommodate this delay uh, i'm talking about currently something is happening why should i think about pre-plan now i have to strike out this answer it won't work right it, it's wrong it won't work out maybe next project i can do but this project current what are you going to do now that's a question notify your manager yeah it, it sounds good but if i go to notify manager the manager will ask me then why i pay salary to you then why you have been recruited here i can notify but not now in this situation i can't do it so straight away i'll tell these two question answers will not come up now there is a two answers c and d looks closer now i want to look at the best out of it let the customer know about it and talk over option yes it is good but if i go to my customer if i go to my customer the customer can ask me back hey you guys don't have any other options to do did you try it out right i can go to the customer but before going to the customer i would recommend to first talk to the team first understand with your team it could be your sme it could be a senior architect it could be your core engineers or it could be a guy who serves you in the low level understand exactly what can be done if the team can't resolve the problem then you will take to your manager your manager has some lessons learned knowledge domain expertise or get knowledge from program manager portfolio manager they try to do something still they can't do it then you take to the customer and talk to them guys we tried all the option look like we can't deliver it why don't we give a second option to you delivery from product a or product b the customer can say yes or no when all these three happen then you can record it as pre-plan that means into lessons learned on the next project you will use this learning so that's how it works out so if i put the question back again the answer goes to d many of you mocked it perfectly d because first you have to understand from the ground what can be done if that's not there we'll move to the next stage anyway this is not the exam uh, for you i'm just showing a hint of how the scenario comes in the pmp exam this is called a scenario based or situation based question here you will not find any domain you will not know whether it's a predictive nature or adaptive nature any project will have this problem how do you address it if you see the answers list people given here it has n number of answers here some says a some says b some says c on his or her dimension that's correct but when you see a dimension from the project management d is correct right if a one or two words i change here d will become wrong this is how project management exams questions work by the way i want to just give a taste of it don't think every question will be like this i was giving just a taste hey it will look like this right Anyway, I saw a lot of answers there and thanks for the answers everyone and I've seen some content also there on the time of uh, as the time is pulling up. Let's move a little more. Yeah, yeah, I am the benefit of others. I'll keep moving. So now uh, I gave a taste of it. Let me give something some idea about uh, examination pattern. How is the examination pattern is going to be? Um, so far I've explained about um, what is the benefit of exam and what are the books to read for the examination and how a question look like. Now you have to see the exam pattern. When I say exam pattern, it is a computer-based exam or paper-based exam. Both are there, but primarily people go for computer-based exams. And they give 200 multiple choice questions. Okay, you will choose one out of four choices. Okay, um, yeah. And again, uh, it will be of around five domains. Did I say five domains? I show a pie chart to you. Initiation, planning, close, executing, content control. Yeah, okay, the question will be placed like that. For a quick understanding, there'll be 200 questions in PMP exam and you'll have four hours. Oh, some of you are saying, wow, four hours? Yes, it's four hours. <laughs> but after paying 36,000 for your exam fees, you will not feel it as four hours. You will feel it as just 30 minutes because it's your money, your growth, your, your, your reputation. You won't leave it up, right? So uh, we will practice this in the, in the practice exams, right? That's what we'll do. And there is something on uh, questions like, uh, uh, I, I don't want to address too much onto this area, don't worry. Um, yeah. Now, uh, there is no negative marking. Be happy about it. No negative marking. So whatever answer you mark, you get the answer. If you don't mark, it's gone. That's it. Right. Now, what I want to tell you very thing is, after clearing the exam, you will get the results on immediately. This is what you will all love it. When you do the four hours of the exam, when you click the last question, you submit it. Within one, two, three, four, five, it will say you pass, PMP qualified. Ah, on the spot, you will get the results. It is not something like you go home and get the result. On the spot, you will get it. 
because you have paid 38,000. Okay, that's how it's going to be. Okay, I know you all know this information. I just thought of giving heads up to you. So 200 questions, multi-choice, and it's going to be four hours of examination. Results will be on the spot, and there is no negative marking. The new exam pattern is changing in July 1, 2020. I'm going to explain that in a few minutes. Let me move. Uh, yeah, Sunny, I'm coming there. Hold on, hold on. Be with me for 10 more minutes. I'm going to explain. Now, uh, examination pattern. Now, how your result will look like? How your result will look like? Your result sheet will be something like this. What you see on the right side, it will say pass. First thing you have to see is pass. And then it will tell that how much you scored in each area. When I say how much you scored, if you look at here, it will tell that above target, below target, target. See, these are the grading system PMI follows. They follow something called above target, target, below target, and needs improvement. And so far, the PMI has not declared what they mean by above target. They didn't tell that it is 95%. They didn't tell that it is 75%. They never declared it. It is always a secret agenda. They never said it. Okay, it's all our assumptions or go to where any seasoned uh, coach. Uh, maybe if you can reach out someone very experienced coach, they will rightly tell that if you get this much of mark in practice exam, you will score and clear the main exam. That is the reason they go to the right coach. If you don't go to the right coach, there is a chance you may get misled. So because there is no declaration from PMI, if you score 60 marks, you are passed. No, they are not declared. They just said that you have to score above target, target, below target in this area. I'll repeat again. In exam, you have 200 questions. It's going to be four hours of examination. They follow the grading system as above target, target, below target, needs improvement. If you stay in above target and target in five areas, if you see the areas here, you have initiation, you have planning, you have execution, you have monitor and control. The guy who have pulled out here, I have, I have hidden the names of this guy. This guy got above target in all the area. It's it's really, really good score. But sometimes what will happen is you will get a target here. You will get target here, right? You will get a need improvement here, right? If you get more need improvement and below target, there is a chance this result will be some other result, right? The better, the most best thing is stay in target say in target now you can ask me the question Shiram, how do i know i'm in target right that's a thrill of the exam you will not know until you see the results you will not know but when you practice it i start working with the candidate for the last 10 days of the examination you will be with me i will start guiding you bit by bit telling that where you are weak where you have to tune it up it's something like fm radio okay slightly if you tune you'll get a digital sound if not it'll be a normal uh, fm radio Songs will come. I'm not saying no songs. Songs will come, but you won't get the woofer sound. You have to make a woofer sound slightly tweaking. This is my role. I'll be tweaking you slowly the last minute of last 10 days, and you'll get to the above target. I have many people scored above target in all the area, right? So it's it's a agenda, hidden agenda by from PMI. They don't show how much to clear the examination, but don't worry, that will be taken care when you approach me and start telling you what it is, right? But ideally, you have to get target in all the areas. Okay, I know a lot of questions coming up there. I'll come to you. Let me complete what the subject I want to complete so that it may address your question. Okay, sounds of the exam part. Now let me move a little more. Oh man, this is a certificate you get. Wow. Now they recently changed to orange color. If not, it was a blue color. So you will see a certificate. You know what? The moment you see the certificate, you'll get tears out of you. Uh, every other day, I get a phone call from someone saying that I cleared the PMP exam. The moment I pick the phone, the voice will be shaking. They said, Shiram, I cleared the examination, right? It is something like so thrilling to clear the PMP exam. That kick is so nice because after so many years of your college days, you go for the examination, which challenges you. That will be so, so interesting and challenging. I like it, right? So your certificate will be like this. I, I hid in the name because of the original certificate. This one is. So you will have get a PMP number here. This number you have to put in your resume. If you go for interview, they take this number and put in the website of PMP, PMI. It will tell them, are you eligible or not? That will show it there on the website itself. So this number is more valuable number. And it will give a date. The date will be of three years of timeline. Three years of timeline, it will tell uh, three years valid. Now you can ask me the question, after three years, what I will do? Do I need to write the exam again? No. They have something called PDU collection. That is, you have to go listen to the webinars listen to session uh, like someone who coach like you take the session you can listen to that 
by which you get points. If you score the needed points, 60 points, then what happens is they'll be allowing you to renew for another three years. For example, I did my certificate in 2016 and 19, my certificate got over. I, what I did is in three years, I keep on learning myself. I gain PDUs. Every uh, one month, I'll go for Bangalore chapter, Mumbai chapter. When I go to US, I go to Las uh, Angeles chapter. I go to chapter and sit them and listen to them. The more you listen, PMI assumes that you are keep learning yourself. When you keep learning yourself, they feel that the certificate is valid. If you don't learn regularly, they feel your certificate is not valid. They'll say disqualified, right? Let's not worry about this now. Uh, I will guide you how to get the points also. For now, you have to worry about how to get the certificate. Then I will tell you how to renew the certificate. That's a simple process. Getting certificate is tough. Renewing is simple. I will help you. Right? That's a point. Cool. I have to move furthermore. God, I am running, man. I will come. I will come to the question, uh, Rob. Hold on. Okay, this is the main area. Many people are waiting for it. Preparation time. Okay. I want to spend time here for five minutes. Preparation time goes like this. If you watch out here, um, preparation goes in three categories. One is someone very crucial. They want the certificate very immediately. They may be waiting for the promotion. Uh, there may be job change. They may be uh, waiting for the visa. They may be migrating to UK. Lot of factors are there. Those people who want a certificate very quickly, immediately, you can go for a three weeks activity. When I say three weeks activity, it will be a very intensive program. You have to work very closely with me. What I'll do is I'll work out on a plan for 21 days of study track. And you will be reading on work days at least four hours per day. And you'll be reading weekends eight hours per day, right? When I say read, you will read with full attention, not with the mobile and television, right? You have to be full focus. I'll be with you closely watching out. And on last five days of the exam, you will read 12 hours per day. I know some people are looking at me, 12 hours. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm kidding here. <laughs> what happens is when you are very much needed of the certificate in three weeks, yes, you have to do this. But it's, it's a little tough, I'll tell you, but I got people. I have one lady, she cleared exam in 15 days. I have an am qualified MBA guy. He cleared exam 16 days. Those are records I have, but it is really, really hard working. I don't know how many hours the guys read, but they did it. Okay, that's one track. Let me go to track two. Track two talks about eight, eight weeks of timeline. Eight weeks of timeline, which you have to read at least two hours per day, right? I'll tell you how to read that. And six hours of reading is needed on the weekends. And last five days, you'll read eight hours, right? This is how you should do. When you come to the last four, five days, six days, you will practice some of the exams. Next, net practice is very needed to go for the main exam. If not, it's going to be a little tough. So you have to work on the practice. That again, uh, will be guiding you how to do that part. Now, what I want to tell you is, you may be doing from a different institute, you may be working on different timeline. I know some of you started preparing at least six months back or five months back. What I will tell you is, first set a target date. For example, if you set a target date as a Jan 14 is your exam. Now, from here, start working out. October, uh, what's the date today? It's 20, right? Yeah, October 20. October 20 till the timeline, how much days you got? Say you have 64 days, I'm just putting a random number. In 64 days, how many week days you have? How many week ends we have, right? Uh, I generally put a calendar like this and the calendar will help you to track where you are running, right? And uh, when you put this date, you really, really work well. And uh, if you want to know about human psychology or uh, human brain system, our brain system is so, so interesting. It is a goal seeking mechanism. The moment you set a particular number, a particular date, your brain starts working automatically. You know that Jan 14, you go for the examination. You will start ignoring unwanted party. You may have stopped some of the unwanted things. You will focus and get to that. So date is very vital. So I'll work with you when we prepare for the examination. That's very vital for you. So now I spoke about the category of three weeks. I spoke about the category of eight weeks. There is one more category. These people say that, hey, Sriram, I know project management. I like PMP but I don't want to rush and clear the examination. You know, I want to digest it, man. I want to learn it. I really want to do this. I want to be a great manager for the next 25 years. I don't want to just get a certificate. There are people like that I get from US and Canada. They spend at least four months time to read this. So what they do is they digest it. They go step by step. They read carefully every pages and come back to me after two to three months where I'll set a target date for them and start progressing. 
So I put three categories. One, very fast. They want a promotion, growth, job change, country migration, visa, or they want to kick their manager out of the company, right? They want a three week certificate. That's their eight week certificate where they work out a little time. They have two months of time to do. There are some people four to five months of certification they're doing. So we have three categories. So we have to go by customizing what you look out for and make it happen. When you come closer, we'll be working out on 21 days plan or 56 days plan, how to read the five process groups, how to read a 10 knowledge areas, which is a part of PMP, right? It is not only with me you have to read, or what I'm saying here is, even if you have a own study plan, plan like this, have three weeks, eight weeks plan, and put a calendar in the board, have a particular date, and mark it, this is the date, I'm a PMP, set yourself a clear system, because when you go systematic, I'll tell you, nobody can touch you. I have seen people very systematic win the intellectual people. Intellectual people something overestimate the lose the game. Whereas a systematic person always win the game. That happens, right? That goes. Good. That's about it. And uh, five more minutes, I will complete this content. What I have, then I'll give the question to you. Q and A session. I know you have questions on this area also. I'll come there. Okay. Some of you worried about the exam pattern change. I'll quickly touch here. Uh, if you see the screens here, I put it very clearly. This is a current pattern of exam happening. Initiation, starting to the close of the project. Everything is here. And uh, this is the percentage of exam questions. And also this is the percentage we work in our project. That's happening till June 30th. Until June 30th, from here, how many months we have? October, right? November, December. Almost seven months or six, eight months, you're going to do this exam. This is a pattern going to happen. I'll be taking classes in this pattern till at least May. By June, I'll change the pattern. Now, what is a new pattern? New pattern is coming up in July 1st. The pattern talks about people process environment. Now the question is, hey, Sriram, it's totally confusing, man. Look at here, lot of percentage. Here, only three. How it's going to work? For your surprise, both are the same book called as, what a bad handwriting, man. Okay. Both goes to Pinbox 6th edition. Only the way of question going to change. Same initiation or planning process, have people, have process, have business. All three are there, but the way they're going to put the question will slightly change, right? And again, it's it's going to be, it's not totally revealed what kind of things will happen in the question because still we are working on that. Even I was reading through the outline, it looks very interesting. I feel this is coming really interesting, but both looks the same book. Now you may ask me the question, Okay, Sriram, I'm doing PMB by January 2020. Will my certificate invalid when a new book or a new pattern comes in? I will tell no. I have friends who cleared examination in 1990. They're still PMB. A doctor is always a doctor, MBBS. Even 20 years later, MBBS is MBBS. You may upgrade yourself. You mean that uh, MBBS keep changed, you cannot tell doctor is invalid. No, it's not like that. So you are doing a project management professional. Look at the word professional. You're a professional but you have to upgrade it. That upgrade is called as PDUs. You have to keep learning. If you don't learn, they'll say you are not a good doctor. They'll throw out of the market, right? That's a concept here. So anybody worried about the exam change, I'll tell you, don't worry. These concepts are there. It's happening every three, four years. It's not new, it's happening. It's something like a recession. Every seven years, six years, a recession will happen. It's happening. My last hundred years, recession is happening. It'll go down, come up, go down, come up. People feel, oh, wow, now it's happening. I said, no, it's happening for so many years. So what I mean is both are going to the same book. It's going to hit the same book. But the way they look at the question will change. I showed you a scenario question, right? In that scenario question, maybe some ingredient will change. That's it. If that's the same concept. But one good thing I, uh, I'm looking at the content reading is they are they're going towards more on adaptive nature. Uh, they, they, they're giving equal importance to predictive and adaptive. I think in the beginning of the session, I say that predictive projects, adaptive projects, they're giving equal weightage now. So that's what I'm seeing that if not same content, same book, and only the way of looking questions changing, right? That's about the new book coming up. I'm sorry, new pattern is coming up. By the way, book is going to change only for 2021 until the book is same. Exam question way is alone getting changed. Anyway, it's above your head. Don't worry now. For now, just close your eyes and follow this pattern and clear the exam. That's how it is. And it is going to be valid till your lifetime, right? And they call the PMP as a golden certificate. If you read some internet or blog, they say gold. Gold value keep going up, never comes down, right? Okay, I'll quickly go to the next one. 
Oh yeah, this is very important area. Many want to know what's the fee structure. Hey, Shriram, what's the fees, man? Okay, <laughs> fees is here. What happened is a PMI, when they say PMI Project Management Institute, they have a fee structure. They charge $139 for membership. What is membership? When you get membership, you are uh, eligible to download the book. You are eligible to listen to free webinars, right? That's that's very interesting. Now, these content are going to be useful for you uh, for future and also for the examination, both of it. And this membership should be renewed every year. And that will help you to listen a lot of videos and audios. So amazing will be great, high quality, right? That's there. If you are a person who don't like all this stuff, um, if you don't like, hey man, I don't like membership, man. I don't want to put the money there. You can directly go to the exam. It's triple five. I tell this number as a Las Vegas number. You guys know Las Vegas? Where they have a jackpot. You put the machine, it will be triple five, right? This is a jackpot number. So what is the difference between a member and a non-member is a member will write exam for 544, a non-member will write for triple five. Almost $11 difference, if not nothing. So what I want to tell you is don't worry about the examination part and uh, the fee structure is almost same. If you get the membership, you will be able to download some books. That's how it is. Okay, okay. Quickly I'll recap what all things we touched so that I'll go give you time for 30 minutes for question. Full of question time. I know many people are typing there. You guys are going to enjoy the question. Let's do that. So recap what we did is what to read, which book to read, when should start reading. That is if you're three weeks, if you're eight weeks, if you plan for five months, how to read that, how to prepare, go for the book and have a pattern of reading, have a calendar mark and go for the pattern which we say 21 days plan or 56 day plan. You have to start reading through that. How to write the how to write is a little crucial, which I need close work with you. When I say close work, you may be three years experience. You may be 16 years experience. I should see that. Are you really getting the concept? Are you looking at the question as a project manager, as a leader or as a resource? I have to see your brain process and based on that, we'll be able to suggest more. But again, generally, when you say write, understand the concepts clearly. There, are, there is something called ITTOs, inputs, tools, techniques, outputs. It will be a lot there. Some people ask to do it and to memorize. You cannot memorize. It's not human possible. You are not chippy computer, right? To memorize everything. It won't happen. You have to understand the concept. If you understand the concept in a story form, it will stay with you. See, I am a coach who love to tell in story form. And people listen to me and tell that, Shiram, I remember your example when I went to the exam. In the exam hall, I can recall the uh, example what you gave. So that is what how to write. I will be with you giving a lot of examples. You'll feel, wow, that's connecting, man. That's working. So this is what the how to write part. Anyway, with this a short time of one hour, I was just able to just give a heads up of what it is. Now quickly I go to the questions. I know many are bumping with the questions. Let me go, let me go. Uh, we have to start. Do, 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 Lord, man. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll start with the Jitender. I'm a product development manager having 14 years experience, want to work as a project manager, but people say this is not for you. You should think of as technical architect or persist same in technical areas. What is essential to start career in a project manager for experience, da, 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 pressure? Okay, big question. Jitender, don't go by what others say. If you are hot, your brain says that I am a leader. Just go ahead. If you have a money and time, go ahead for an MBA certificate in a reputed institute, right? That's the first recommendation I give to anybody. If you don't have money, if you have time for doing MBA, go for a certificate which is highly reputed in the market. It could be of Prince2, it could be of a PMP, it could be of anything best certificate on leadership track. And I highly recommend PMP certificate. Just do that and market yourself, get a big win, right? People keep saying this won't work, this will work. I'm not sure they tried it out. They without trying, they'll give the feedback. But as my experience, I'll tell that see if it's MBA or see for PMP, crack it. Because 14 years experience, you should be in leadership track already. If not, you should do that. Okay, Sharad, I heard PMP exam is going to change in June 2020. What is the real time required to prepare the crash exam? Okay, uh, I think I answered you, Sharad. Uh, July 1st, 2020 exams are changing. Uh, no need to cr crash fast. Go rhythmic. Even if you start by November, you'll be clear the exam by January. Very, very smooth clearing January can happen. Somebody in very rush, I'm waiting for my US visa. 
December, I have to go. Yes, we have three weeks hit hard with the examination. But I will be back. You won't chase you like anything because you have to read like every hours, this many hours, right? That's it. But again, uh, not everybody need that way. To answer a question, yes, it's possible. Suresh, now it is uh, Pearson beer. Yes, Suresh, the center has been changed. Don't worry, it's another exam center. That's it. What is the processing criteria? I think Sunni, Sunni, I have answered you. Okay. Can you please tell us a CAPM examination pattern? Uh, Abhi, what you do is just ping me or message my team uh, in the website. And we have a CAPM details. I will explain all in place. Don't worry, you'll be part of the PAP group, but you'll write a CAPM exam. I'm there with you. I will help you out on that part. Uh, Shara is asking you, with this training, 35 PD will cover it. Yes, you're right. Uh, when you go for a training with uh, any institute, it's not this institute. If you go to any institute, they call 35 learning hours which makes you eligible for the PMP examination. Be careful, it's eligibility. So that is our responsibility to give you eligibility. So you go for the main exam. Don't worry, that will be taken care of. After three years, we need to renew the correct. Yeah, yeah, Sharada answered the question. Yes, you have to renew it. That is also taken care of. is asking, what are the most important knowledge areas for the exam? Oh man, that's interesting. <laughs> Navita, every knowledge is important for the exam, but if you ask me which knowledge area will make you think more, I will tell three triple constraint. That is scope, requirement of the project, two, cost, budgeting of the project, three, schedule, time of the project. It is called triple constraint. That is a place we have WBS, work breakdown structure, which will go down work package, which will go down activities. In the activities, you do costing, timing, resource factor. It's the area which is highly needed. Right. Some of the Americans or Canadian people, when you take classes, they do this day in, day out. So when you take class to them, they feel more connected. Oh, yeah, I do it. When you are or we are or I am from India, sometimes we would have done only execution of the project. What will happen is one Friday evening, get an Excel sheet from a senior folk from other country telling them make the project work happen because already planning is done. Already costing is done. Already timing is done. They ask you to execute it. If that's the case, you feel a little tricky with the project. That gap is what I will try to fill in the classroom. I don't assume that you have knowledge. I will think you as a scratch start person. So I will explain you all the concepts. If you take the same class for the Canada based person who is brought up there and learns project from end to end, for them those areas are easy. Right? That's how it works out. I think you answered your question. I'll go to Rao. Do we require all modules to target? If I get needs to be improvement, two modules out of five, it is fail. No, uh, Rob, if in initiation and in closing, if you get need improvement, no problem. Because that's a small area. But in execution, but in planning, you get need improvement. It means that is a mistake. That is a problem. Okay, that's your question to answer. For Neil, uh, would you share a detailed study plan? Yes, Neil, I'll give it. I know it's a very short one hour time. Actually, I want to explain all I love to do. But the time is running like crazy. I couldn't explain. <laughs> right. Jitender, what is the ideal time to decide the date and pay 38,000? Oh, okay, that's a good question, Jitender. Hey, Jitender is asking when I have to pay the 38,000. What I do with my candidate is first I'll understand how much they understood. I'll have a call with them after the class <clears throat> and I'll give some exams to them. I will see how much they're scoring. The moment you score certain numbers, I have the numbers with me. That numbers is an indication that you are ready for the main exam. Then I will be with you to fill the application form and go for the examination. So until uh, I am able to tell you that you are ready, you will not pay the fees. So we will we'll not pumping your money unnecessarily, we will hold the money. But ideally, uh, after the class, within three, four weeks, people will get ready for the exam. Okay, Abhi, can you get me to CAPM? Yeah, we will help you at CAPM, don't worry. Suresh is asking from where we can take mock questions. Any good websites that can be suggested? Yeah, there are a lot of websites, Suresh. Uh, but again, I don't want to give uh, a vague explanation here. But I will give some specific websites uh, when they start working out. In fact, we do have a good mock exams when the course get completed. That will be given to you. That will be pack off the course, right? Beyond that, there are some paid sites on that. I will recommend it as you get closer to that. It's too early for you, right? If not, I'll again put in the website also for you. YG, how to identify the question related to which technology areas? <laughs> That's a good question, YG. Uh, see, when you have 200 questions in the exam, you will not know, is this from planning, is this from execution? But when you read all the project together for at least two, three weeks or four weeks, your brain knows that it is a project. 
you may not need to worry which knowledge area you will only worry if i do this action will this project win or fail that's what will be there you will not think it's at a cost it's at a schedule is it a stakeholder no your mind will think if i make this decision my project will success or failure right that's the point you will come to the that's called maturity level that's the answer for the yg pankaj i have experience of 5 years in construction industry but what i felt after searching about pmp that is certificate is more in demand in it industry not in construction please correct me if i'm wrong pankaj i would recommend you to see the video again the beginning of the video i was showing some demand in the market in that you will see construction and civil engineering is always in demand one of the highest pmp demand comes from civil engineering i get many people from uae contacting me for the pmp pmp is in a high high demand it is it people come in and they also learn it it is not only it driven right it's it's for any domain for 200 countries you'll be surprised okay some of you has wondered really we have 200 countries in the world yes we have 197 countries registered in un but we are around 204 countries right out of which 200 countries we have pmp running ah it's huge <laughs> okay navita do we need to memorize id dios no navita you cannot you are not chitti <laughs> i will explain the stories uh, concepts that will help you to remember and i will give some tips when you ready for the exam uh, there are some writing tips all that i'll tell them how to write uh, how to practice every day i'll give some daily practice that daily practice will make you to memorize remember some key things not everything that's for your answer hey manuel good to see you here man i want to thank you so much for your time hey manuel thanks man good uh, ramesh is there uh, I have nine years of experience and ONG industry, and right now doing pilot project myself business. I hope I am qualified. Oh, you are very much man. You are very much. If you do a project on your own, you know end to end than a person who work for a salary, right? So you have a lot of knowledge. I appreciate it. So Bharat is asking something. I am a civil engineer profession. Is it recommended? Oh, highly recommended. If you want a 25% salary high, if you want a reputed company, highly highly recommend for civil engineering. Okay, Dinesh. Shyam, thank you. I have only one question to ask. When are you going to have the next session at Delhi? Please have it as soon as possible. Dinesh, I'm trying out. Uh, if you know, my calendar is highly packed. I'm working out uh, for Bangalore, Pune, Delhi, and again, if I can't come to that city, I'm opening up for an online like this video session, which is starting from November second. Okay, it is going to be very interesting. You'll be like this. You'll be seeing me. I'll be speaking to you. That's going to happen. uh that's going to start now for second that's a information for you sri lakshmi how beneficial pmp for investment uh, investment banker yes it is right uh, i have couple of people from uh, icici bank senior folks executives came for pmp because uh, project is everywhere for example in banking segment um, uh, let's say approving industrial loans is a project they given to you within 3 months you have to allocate four uh, big companies project allocation so that's a project you have a start time you have a end time you have a set of activities to do so you will work as a project for that you should know where it start where it ends who are the stakeholders how is the communication procurement cost all to be done it's it's really useful shilpa i am planning to give exam in december end when to start and how and when to get pmp membership amazing great uh, shilpa december right we are in october uh, contact me from november first week take my number reach out to me uh, and we'll start guiding you from november first week we'll start working out that's good that's good Rajan, next session date on Delhi NCR, please. Uh, yes, Rajan, we'll update you. As I said, it is online also coming up. We'll look it out. <clears throat> Patrick, PMP has more value than MBA. If not done from that, 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 that's true. I have seen. I am MBA guy came for the class, and he said that man, I'm seeing almost equal and above than what we see in MBA. But MBA, you sit and read gradually for one year, right? You digest it. PMP is a short course. And they'll push you, but the subject is so vast, man. I'll tell you the version. You are right, Patrick. That's right. Uh, Raju says, "Shai Shiram, being into operation management from last ten years, I am eligible for PMP. Yes, you should be eligible if if your operation management or some of the area you did it as a project. Implementing operation for one of the project could be a deadline based. I have started or ended a certain process." if you did that you are eligible and again if you are looking at yourself as a leader or a manager in next 2 to 3 years yes you should try for pmp as you can change your way you work you can change your domain also yes it's possible right again uh, rajguru please uh, connect me in the whatsapp i'll help you more 
Sri Vidya, oh man, some, Sri Vidya. Do you think only reading Rita is enough to crack? I have many people, Sri Vidya, just Rita, they clear the exam. Okay, in training all recording sessions for, yes, Sharan, uh, the plan is we do conduct with uh, GoToMeeting. This will be recorded video within next uh, six hours or eight hours. We have some timeline. The video will be shared in a WhatsApp on your uh, chat folder. You can download it, have in a computer, mobile. When you drive the car, you can put my video. You can listen to me and start driving the car or sit and listen. Right? That's what people do. This is all I'm doing for some years. People enjoy learning that way. Okay, uh, David is asking, what is the best way to start among knowledge areas or process groups? Okay, this is a crucial point. I like it. Uh, we, uh, I, I take classes starting from stakeholder management because I feel if you know the stakeholder well in the project, you work the project really well. Okay, that's where I start through. But again, I have a flow of where to start, how to proceed, uh, like we go in uh, order. But again, in the books, it starts from integration management. If you want, you can go that way. Or in the classes, I'll be explaining you how to go step by step. So that starts from stakeholder management, start driving triple constraint, quality, and then travel to procurement and integration. This is how I go. Okay, that's for your question, they ready, Sharada. Exam question answers preparation software and material provider. Uh, I don't think you need a, a question answer preparation software. It is, I think you're asking about mock exams. Yes, it will be provided to you. Thiru is asking, thanks a lot for your valuable guidance. I got inspired by your indirectly as your student, almost three to four person in a week. And these success stories, it's really, oh yeah, Thiru. Uh, I know <laughs> in my LinkedIn, I see every two, three days, one person clear the examination, right? And I will tell, it's all their dedication, okay? Their commitment. I should not take anything out of it. Maybe I push them uh, 3% or 4%. The rest 97% they worked out, right? Uh, I know where to tickle you, uh, where to pinch you so that you start reading. <laughs> Sometimes uh, a small touch will make the best thing, right? So I feel I'm contributing 3% and those people are putting 97% of effort. I give all this uh, credit to their effort, right? So thanks to for addressing it. Atul, what kind of study method do you provide? Soft copy or hot copy? Uh, yeah, uh, in the classroom, it will be a hot copy provided to you. And on the online sessions, it will be digital copy provided to you, right? We are also working out how can we provide a hot copy for digital I mean, uh, online classes. Yeah, you'll get the material, Atul. But you cannot get the material of a PIMBOK edition updated because it's a copyrighted version, which you can download from the website. Okay, Metali is asking, I have just completed my master's and started working with my first job. So uh, if you could tell me how to go for CAPM, absolutely Mithali, you can go for CAPM. What to happen is, I know a couple of people asking for CAPM. CAPM people will sit with me in PMP classes because both are same subject, no change in that. One of the exam will change. In PMP it's 200 questions, for you is 150 questions. So you will sit with among all the students, but when you go for the examination, your intensity of the examination will be a little less, and the area of coverage also will be less. So I will closely work with you to explain what you have to read, how to read. And usually CAPM exams, people write from their home in their laptop. You no need to go to any exam center. They change the process now. With the laptop in the home, you can write the examination. So any part of the world, you can write the exam. I will, I will guide you, Mithali. Please pin the team regarding your requirement. Umar Shankar, Shiram, can you please give one example of difference between portfolio, program, and project? Okay, <laughs> okay. Anyway, Umar, uh, how it works out is portfolio is something like, um, let's say, Tata. I'll take Tata Concerns. In Tata Concerns, we have uh, Tata Steel as a portfolio, uh, Tata Motors as a portfolio, and uh, TCS as a portfolio. Now, Tata Motors, if you take as a portfolio, and under Tata Motors, you have programs. You have uh, uh, lightweight vehicles, cars, or lorry and heavy vehicles as a program. Right. Under one program in a cars, they have multiple cars. It can be Jaguar, it could be hatchback cars, it could be SUV. These are the projects. If you go to heavy vehicles, lorries, school buses, JCP, these all can be project. Right. So portfolio is segments in the corporate like Tata Steel, Tata Motors, uh, Tata TCS, and programs and portfolio project happens. So we live within these projects to make this program happen really well, and the program will make the portfolio really well. Portfolio will make the organization to win strategy in the market. I generally explain well in the classroom also with a lot of examples. For you, quick, I'll give that. I hope I answered you, Ma. Abhishek, I have done two online certification on PM from course here on LinkedIn. Will those be helpful here? Uh, I feel so, Abhishek. Uh, provided if they gave you PDUs, you can apply for the examination. If not, I think it is tough. We will address this point later. You can ping me. 
Shilfa, when is the ideal time to book an exam slot? Uh, I will tell Shilfa if you are ready for the exam and you are scoring certain percentage in the mock examination, you can book for the exam. Imagine if you are scoring less than 50% in the practice exam, it's not a good time. Okay, so I have to talk to you and understand what is your level of understanding, right? Shilfa, maybe two years experience or maybe 20 years experience, maybe 25 years experience. Uh, let me understand a little more. But ideally, look out your exam scoring, practice exam. If you are scoring uh, some certain percentage like 65, 70 percent, that's a good deal. Saying that you are ready, you can go for the exam, right? That's a point. Um, Jay Prakash Nagappan, what is a knowledge approach and logical approach to clear the exam? Uh, Jay Prakash, if I understand uh, to you, um, I don't see two difference here. Uh, approach is something you have to have a systematic plan to prepare the examination. You have the exam date. You should have enough material with you. You should have learned at least 35 hours with the proper coaching and then start preparing for it. When I say preparing, you have to read, write, read, write. Only reading will not take you forward. You have to write a lot. So that is what I recommend. Sujit, uh, one book is Pimbak, another is Rita uh, sorry, Rita Mulkai. Can you repeat the other book name once again with the spelling? It is head first PMP. H E H E A D head first. PMP, I think I answered you. Vijayan is asking organizer, what is the major difference between PMP and Prince2? Uh, uh, Vijayan, I think many articles and internet explained it. Anyway, I don't see a major difference. Both are project management things. Whereas PMP is a framework. You stand on a platform of a framework. On that, you can do Scrum certification, Prince2 certification, scaled agile framework. Framework talks about predictive, adaptive nature. Talks about broad spectrum of project management. Prince 2 talks project management, but it won't go that much deep and broad, right? That's the way it is. Even I have Prince 2 with me, but PMP I feel is very broader. Uh, Obina, is there any way to contact you personally? I have few queries to clarify, which is not suitable, relevant to ask here. Uh, Neil, I think I given my email ID. Uh, sorry, I'll share the email in a minute. You can see my email ID and you can contact there, right? Okay, Sharad, uh, in your material mock interview questions cover, or do we have additional purchase? No, Sharad. All be covered in the package. Aditya, referring to Pimbox 6 mapping of the process, should I pre prepare a knowledge area wise or process group wise horizontally? It can be both the way, Aditya. Uh, some people work with the vertical process group wise. It's up to your knowledge how you read it. Uh, in the classroom, I, every book reads in a horizontal way. right? So I have plans for both the sides. I have vertical plan, I have horizontal plan. We will discuss it when you feel which is comfortable, you can take it on. That's how it is. Okay, Chucha Rao. Um, thank you for sharing valuable information, Ram. Currently, I'm working in Australia. However, I will ping you later and tell you about my talents. I need to more. Uh, da, 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 kind of. Yeah, Rao, I have three people already joined for online from Australia. I know it's a little late hours, but those guys say that, yes, you know, I want to do the course. Sometimes they feel sleepy, they sleep, but they have the video recording with them. They listen to the recording later, they wake up. <laughs> it happens. No other go. Uh, YG, thank you for various guidance and uh, path lines. How can I connect you? Yes, I'm going to share the email address now. YG, you will connect. PMP versus Prince 2, which is more appropriate for you and our countries. Uh, don't go by countries, uh, uh, Eklin. Uh, go by what you want in future. You will not stay in Europe alone for the next uh, uh, 25 years, right? So learn PMP. On top of that, learn Prince 2. I learned PMP. I learned Prince 2. I learned Scrum certification. It is needed. Every year invest some money on an education. Anyway, in few minutes, I'm going to start a program for leadership program. There I talk about how to enhance your learning skills. I'll, I'll talk about it. Sandeep, given exam for two times, but could not clear how shall I study? Uh, Sandeep, uh, I know it's very hard feeling. I have met a few candidates like that came to me and I helped them and they cleared the examination. Uh, maybe a small tweak in a way we look the examination will change the things. Sometimes the bike will not start. You click, uh, you, you keep kicking 15 times. Sometimes you just change the portion of the bike, shake the petrol tank. Generally we do, right? Put the choke once, give a second, give one kick, it will start, right? So I will to work with you closely where the kick is needed. I will do that. I'm not kicking you, kicking on the knowledge. I'll make you clear the examination. Don't worry on that part. Navita, once I'm certified in PMP, will it, will it let me change a domain even I do not have experience in domain? Uh, that's a good question. PMP is one of the certificates that will help you to change your domain. But at the same time, I will tell you, you should love the domain which you want to go. If only for the namesake or only for the money purpose you want to change your domain, that will be tough for you. 
if i like metro construction work really well from childhood i love trains i know tracks i know system i i love trains okay my father asked me to go to be a software engineer become a software engineer after 20 years i want to change the mind yes i can but the last 20 years with my software work i also read something about the trains how engine works which country produces engines how the tracking system works i know everything about the domain now if i do pmp i can apply for the job for a metro construction in any country and they will invite me i can explain all about project management along with the domain knowledge then they will tell this guy is good if not you will get the job but you will be so tough to play the game because you have to do wbs activities execution you have to talk to stakeholders it will be tough so to your question yes you can switch but you should love the domain which you want to go okay suresh uh, suresh is asking what uh, do you have a plan strategy for a person who has completed this self training already yes suresh i will explain you no issues i will give the email id i will explain you how should i approach you for pmp not possible to attend the classroom training uh, we have online sessions parath november 2nd we are starting a new session there you will get into okay pradeep i have 8 years of experience in the uh, uh, black belt six sigma yeah it will definitely help you as you are uh, as you are assistant manager already you have done lot of stuff at your side definitely it's going to help you also you have six sigma which we will talk about lot of quality factors okay as many of you asking what is the contact point i'll go to there and come back to the questions what i do is i'll quickly show what i have here now this is the points which i want to explain you now the question is how you are going to uh, now how we are going to see the how shriram is going to help you we have three factors here one is live video session with the shriram which is going to be of uh, now it's going to be of something like a, a video session which happens on every month we have it it happens on the weekend which is starting on november 2nd right every a session like what we had here i'm going to explain the concepts show you all the factors of pmp you going to train out of it and we have a classroom sessions happening in bangalore pune delhi it's going on and it is it's happening now so i will give the details for that you can even look into that and we have some corporate trainings also which goes for in house trainings if there are a bunch of people from the same company they say that hey you want to do in our company yes we can do that that is also there so it will be a normal second we're going to start as a go to meeting yeah, okay this is a good software which we are using now video recording will be shared with you it will be high resolution high good and video recording will be really good to listen to any time right that's the way what we did now and uh, uh, sessions uh, generally we have this is our venue uh, you will get your pmp sessions happening here and it happens generally in the star hotels with uh, good food facility okay we love food right yeah i love food okay it happens there it will be of a four days of training uh, like uh, morning 9 to 5 it will happen you will given with the material content workshop lot of fun and lot of photographs it happens yes that's how it goes and uh, as i said it's online is there as i said we have a classroom is there it's 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 really good we do the all the stuff uh, anybody can reach out how to reach out okay here it goes um, you can uh, yeah hyderabad arun you are planning out uh, we need to design on the date timeline yes arun we can help you out on that part so here is the mail id and whatsapp numbers so probably you can contact these numbers when you look out and note down the numbers i will quickly answer some of the questions uh there's a four and eight week session mode is separate than four days training program uh see four and eight week sessions i i was talking about something on online session and another classroom session classroom session goes four days whereas online session goes of uh, four uh, eight weeks it is on every saturdays of uh, eight saturdays which will do that uh yeah pradeep you can do that yeah uh, pratik for uh, online training online training happens on only saturdays evening 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock okay so saturdays usually be little free on the evenings 6 to 8 will do 6 to 10 will do it sorry 6 to 10 four hours it lap or eight saturdays anyway we will give more information as we get closer to that you can mail to the support team they will give all the details to you okay thanks is in there varun i should have in the beginning of this session you highlighted the importance of domain knowledge also you said it is possible to change your domain in case of domain change after clearing the pmp exam uh, how to cope up with that change i think i explained you varun with some case study yep you can change it as as and you could about the domain in reference to the last question if ca pmp and pmp are the same value uh, um it will slightly differ uh, it depends on the experience right if you are a good experience person you go for pmp 
if you are a um, less experienced person you go for capm it differs based on that uh, i guess you should tell partisan <laughs> okay right okay um how sessions uh, with you will be planned if candidates is from other states yes it's an online session prashant it's be planned with you we're going to have it okay okay hey first of all i'm seeing much of people uh, getting more interest on trainings and uh, thanks all for listening to the session and uh, the session is planned something like online we have classrooms in your cities and uh, we have corporate trainings going up i would recommend you to connect with this email given here if not we'll also reach out to you we'll be sharing more information you can also visit shrilearning.com which will be shared and again don't worry you can do it in different institute also you can come to me i'll help you out don't think that you are do only with main institute help you right so you can do other institute also i'll try to guide you which is good for me and which is good for you right all right are we planning any batches in chennai uh, uh, yes vijay we are working out on it we'll get you on the date how much it will cost for your course and exam yes shibab everything will be shared in the email um, yes of course in iir it will be shared with you is there any new period mentioned between the three exams in a year and uh, before going to the process group knowledge yes uh, they will explain you all the questions yeah let take any points thanks navita okay we are working out thanks a lot thanks a lot great guys i know uh, it's something on a sunday evening you all sacrifice to television program sacrifice to evening time and came to here and many of you from different part of the country different part of the world i appreciate all of you for joining here <clears throat> i asked my team to give you a link here this link is going to talk about how to be a top 2% how to be a good leader uh, in a corporate how to be a good leader in a personal life right that will be shared with the link in a minute now in the same group chat now i'm going to talk about how to enhance your abilities by being a great person right uh in that pnp will be part of it so we will talk that in a minute so first of all i give a thanks to everyone for joining here okay and now you would have seen a chat there in the screen which has a link uh, we are going to start in 15 minutes which gets into leadership program right and again don't think that this is the only way you can contact me today i just open up webinar what is the plan is i'm going to have more webinar to stew to explain a lot of concepts and be free to reach out okay i don't feel to hide anything in this world everything is available to everyone fittest will survive that's my uh, concept so i'll make you a most fittest person to survive in a corporate not survive shine in a corporate right so just be along with me we will try to help out to make you clear pmp be a great leader in your life right i know some of the questions i would have answered faster some of the question maybe not went deep inside uh, don't hesitate to mail me i'll get enough time to reply back to all your information and i would personally like to thank each one of you participated here and respecting and coming over the call and asking a lot of valuable questions right in fact i want to answer more questions but again we are hitting on the time so i will hold on here so i will take all your questions the chat is with me i'll take every question and if the question is not properly answered i will whatsapp you mail you get you connected and you can reach me personally to the numbers or mails given here will be contacted lastly i'm seeing something there aditya it was pleasure listening to you thank you uh, time knowledge you shared have a nice evening great day thanks aditya please let me know if any session is pune yes subramanian we are working out on session for pune also yes we are planning a lot of other cities we are planning of online all in track excellent shiram thanks for a great session thanks emma thanks neetu thanks sandeep thanks anthony thanks sandeep right right good 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 thanks ramesh thanks sanjan great great in fact i want to talk a lot i know time is running up so we are winding up here i would like to give thanks to every one of you um, mark the link given for the leadership program which is starting in 15 minutes i will be there i'll take a sip of water and come back there and we'll talk about leadership sounds good okay thanks suraj thanks sitesh thanks bharat thanks vijayan okay thanks bharat appreciate it okay thanks abina neeta thanks okay time is 